I think he's the worst leader as a quarterback in the NFL. This man ultimately sucks the light out of guys around him. I'm not playing. I think he's horrible. I'm going to encourage the city of Chicago to ban this man from the city of Chicago. This dude is the worst quarterback in the NFL. He is an absolute joke. Oh, ban from the city of Chicago. Jay Cutler has a sprained thumb but won't need surgery. Head coach John Fox said Cutler is day-to-day -day with the injury to his throwing hand. He's been under heavy criticism since bowing out of Monday's loss to the Eagles. But Jim Harbaugh has come to Cutler's defense, saying the criticism is coming from people that don't know Jay. Tyron Matthew, on the other hand, trolled Cutler after Monday Night Football with a tweet that he later deleted saying, Ha ha, y'all paying him 20-plus million. Where is his growth? Stephen A, now that you know he's injured, how do you feel about Cutler now? Same way I felt yesterday. My feelings haven't changed one bit. I really don't understand why y'all having such a hard time comprehending where I'm coming from. Especially you, Molly, because you've been where I mean Max like has an excuse. Voice Max right Max now. has an excuse because he's been here since July 25th. You have been around considerably longer. Tell me one time, one time. My feelings about Jay Cutler have ever changed. Once. Oh, you've been it has never happened because he stinks. He is horrible. You're cold as ice, Stephen he A. Is, he is hard. Yeah, you was cold as ice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Rick James, Dave Chappelle. <laughs> here's the deal. He's cold, cold as ice. ice. But here's the deal. He's horrible because he's not a leader and he doesn't galvanize you. Think about this. You had a dude on the pup list. He can't even play. Hasn't been available to the media, hasn't been available to practice since the end of last season. And Pernell McPhee, who bumped them, then got in the face of his quarterback. Had he done that to anybody else, he would have been cut. You know, right? No problem, because it's Jay Cutler. You got teammates that sit up there and depart from Chicago. Brandon Marshall called him out on first take. You were there. You were an eyewitness to that. Brandon Marshall, is there a receiver in the National Football League who wears pom-poms on behalf oh, of his quarterback? Oh, he has his quarterback back, back, back I, 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 Let me tell you something right now. If you are a quarterback in yeah, the NFL, you want, okay, you want Brandon Marshall yeah, as your receiver. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you right now, you don't need a publicist. You don't need a PR firm. You don't need anything. Just get Brandon Marshall to be your receiver receiver and this dude will sing for you all day every day and even he came on the air and called out Jay Cutler you've got uh, you know Tyron Matthew the dude was just out last year because he had he's you know he suffered his injury yep. which is why I think that Arizona had such a big loss in the NFC championship game I think it would have been more competitive against Carolina had he been playing he comes out having suffered an injury and still takes the time to call you out and those are just a few those are just a few when we talk about Jay Cutler. We're not talking about his ability. A matter of fact, oh. what you're doing, it's just Sorry. a fly. Just swat it away. It's going to be okay, Molly. Here's the, deal. Here's the deal. Here, here, don't, 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 don't tell her that. She'll panic. She's supposed to leave that alone. Here's the deal. When you, look at, when you look at a Jay Cutler, you must understand it's not because he doesn't have the talent that people get on him. It's because they know he does have the talent, but he doesn't have the heart. He doesn't man, no care heart. enough. He literally goes home, and it's like, that's y'all problem. I'm getting my check. The sun's going to shine tomorrow, even in the Windy City, and everything is going How to be we okay. How do feels that way? Excuse me, look at him. Like, look that's at him okay. The, like, he's look, home look okay. Look at him on the field. Look at him on the sideline. I am telling you he's right now. miserable. This man has been in this league since 2006. It is now 2016. I saw the man smile once, and that was when he was signing this contract extension. Maybe he's miserable. They're not I said, oh, well. oh, please. He is miserable because he's a miserable quarterback, because he's a guy that doesn't galvanize the troops around him. Have you ever been around people who have no leadership capability whatsoever? They just lag along, but they're getting the biggest check. It's a damn shame, but it's Jay Cutler. Do you know that Jay Cutler gets paid more than Von Miller? Do you know that Jay Cutler gets paid? I, I don't know whether he, he gets paid more, more than, than Tom Brady. Because he makes more than Tom. Oh, my but Lord. Tom uh, takes listen, pay cuts. That's a different Listen, deal. well, you know, Tom Brady also gets those signing bonuses, too, and all of that. So, so we don't know how much money he's taking home. And, and not only that, Giselle got him covered as well, which never hurts. But the point that I'm trying to make to you is that this is Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler, I'm sure, has a wonderful family, wonderful wife, wonderful children. He has every reason to be happy. But certainly the city of Chicago and the Bears fan base has nothing. Last point. I was at the Hall of Fame a couple of weeks ago. 
Basketball Hall of Fame. Yep. My man Shaq, AI, both got inducted. Oh, on, shouted on, you on, out in their speeches. Well, I appreciate that, especially from AI. I didn't see that coming. I was very touched by it. But let me make my point here. AI, the crowd was going crazy long before they introduced him. They just showed a picture of him, and the crowd was going crazy. They were people who drove up from Philly to Springfield, Massachusetts, to come and see AI. Do you know why? It wasn't just because of the numbers. Huffman. Never won the championship. It's because he, his persona, his very, the very fiber of his being, personified everything the city of Philadelphia prides itself in being about. A blue-collar town with heart. Chicago is like that, too. And Jay Cutler is their representative. This is the problem, and y'all will figure it out eventually. Stay with me. Stay with me. Look, uh, I know you say that the analogy is not perfect. It's what analogy is, um, comparing football players to boxers, because you, as a boxer, you're only responsible for yourself. As a football player, you have to answer to your teammates and your fan base, and especially your teammates it's and true. your coaches. Um, but to make the analogy, I've seen fighters who are really good quit when the going got rough. It wasn't at a moment where it was unreasonable to quit. A reasonable person would quit at that moment. But Evander Holyfield wouldn't have quit. I mean, Holyfield wouldn't have quit. That's why he's one of the all-time greats, and the other guy who quit is not. Okay. If you want to compare the toughness of athletes to Allen Iverson, the vast majority who ever lived will come up short because Allen Iverson was a prize fighter dressed up as a basketball player. That dude was tough, and no one is putting Jay Cutler in that category. We sell sports through narrative, through storytelling. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing here. That's how the human brain understands the world. We create stories about the world, and we map it on to reality. We need heroes and obstacles and villains. That's how we sell sports. It's how we not just boxing and football, baseball, basketball. What's the story of LeBron James, the hero, a villain? What's the obstacle? The more interesting the character, the bigger the obstacle, the better the story. But we also need bad guys. And I'm here to tell you, Stephen A., that the reason you overreact to Jay Cutler's lack of toughness in this respect is because nature abhors a vacuum, and so does Stephen A. Smith. You need a villain. The, the NFL needs a villain. And in terms of players playing on the field, at the quarterback position especially, because that's who we care most about. Who are the villains? There was deflate gate with Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. I think in, in certain respects he's become sympathetic because people are against the NFL and don't like the way they handled it. Who are the villains at quarterback? The answer is Jay Cutler. Now, does he make it easy? Is it low-hanging fruit? Yeah. Did he quit on his team in the NFC Championship game? Yeah. But what happened the other day, if he has a thumb sprain and he feels he can't throw the ball, I know the ethos in football is, but you got to always want it and say, Coach, I'm okay. The great Herm Edwards on this show yesterday talking about that. Usually they'll be like, Coach, Coach, I'm good. But if that quarterback feels like I can't throw the ball with my thumb the way it is, it would be selfish for him to keep himself in the game, especially when you have a competent veteran backup like Hoyer on the bench. If the quarterback believes that guy gives the team a better chance to win, then he should defer and say, look, I can't throw the ball. If he's being a good teammate, he'll say, that guy gives you a better chance to win. And in terms of the fact that, well, it's just a sprain, you know, you could come back right away, it doesn't need, or you could play with it. I just told you I have a high ankle sprain, right? Now, it got better in a couple days. Oh, I, I can... thought you were kidding. No, I really did no. the other day. Stephen A. Yeah. saw me limping around in L.A. It was bad. First day, I, could, I thought it was broken. I couldn't put any pressure on it. By the second day, I was limping better. Third and fourth day, I'm basically walking around normal. But I know people, and I've had sprains, where it was two and three weeks later. There's no way to tell exactly. Medical science is not an exact science. It's not chemistry or astronomy or physics. It's an inexact science. Not only do you not know what the guy is feeling, you don't know how long it's going to take him to heal. So just because it's a sprain and not a fracture, now in retrospect, people can go back and say, Cutler could have toughed it out. We don't know that. We don't know what he was feeling. And if the case was that he was feeling that Hoyer gave the team a better chance, then as I said, it would have been selfish to stay in the game. But given his history, given the look on his face like it's whatever all the time, he's an easy target for everyone's outrage because we need a villain in the NFL. Brilliant soliloquy, Max Kellerman. I mean, I'm just, Thank you. I'm just so impressed. Uh, 
so touched. Uh, you know, if we were in class, I would sit up there and I would just be like, wow, this, I, got, I just got to come back to this class. I got to hear him talk. Class but is then, session every but, day, but, but then I, Hope I, you learn I, something. I, 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 I wish. Oh, I'm learning something from you every day, my brother. I am learning something from you every day. I'm not sure it's much, but I'm learning something. <laughs> Here's the deal. Likewise. This is the thing oh. that kills me. You know, th listen, it's all love, baby. It's all love. Here's the deal. Let me have my own set of facts, because as you point out that soliloquy, I like to go back to my notes and stuff like that that I pull up and I say, you know, just for you. You remember when, in 2014, when Jay Cutler got that $126.7 million contract? Eat. I do. All right, Eat. all right, Eat. okay, 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 seven years. Remember that? Okay, do you remember that that was immediately after he had a five and six record in an injury shortened? 2013 campaign. So you're the Chicago Bears, and after a five or six record, you decide to invest seven years in $126.7 million. Any of us would have taken the money. No crime against Jay Cutler for taking the money. But there's a reason that Phil Emery is gone as the GM. There's a reason Lovey Smith is gone. There's a reason ultimately Mark Trestman was gone. This dude gets coaches fired. He got $18.5 million a year before last, I think last year as well. When you look at the breakdown of this dude's contract, and then you look at his record, which is two games beyond 500, he is a walking piece of mediocrity. I called him a football abomination, but that's because of his leadership. On-field ability, he doesn't bring you results. And then on top of it all, Max, the professor, whether it's Spock Kellerman or Professor Kellerman or whatever the case may be, I come to class. Max Kellerman's got a class, Mac, uh, uh, Molly. He's got a class. He's the professor. Professor Kellerman, I'm here to be taught. I'll be the student. Great. Sure. Here's the problem. Finally, finally waiting here's, for this here, Here's the problem. Here's the big moment here. So I go into class, right? And we learn that the class is two hours, yeah. all right? And I got to sit there and just listen to you. And I'm like this. After a while, if you say what you say, why? Because it's irrelevant to the fan base that is representing your franchise. It's irrelevant for the team and the classmates or the, or the teammates around you. It's irrelevant to all of that. Everything you say is very, very valid in terms of, okay, this is the thinking, this is what may have been going on. Think about what you said, though. His thumb may have hurt more than we thought. Oh, if this guy, Brian Hoyer, Brian Hoyer, I know he's got a winning record as a quarterback as a starter at 15 and 11. But, uh, it, it, but he's Brian Hoyer. But if okay, you can't oh, wait, rip wait, the ball, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's not like it's a rookie that's listen, never played. Like somebody listen, can come it's, in. So let's. So, can't so, I, I got it. I got it. I, I understand. I understand. So, Molly, you got, yeah. you, you got a slight cold. The oh. allergies working. Yeah. Why don't you get up and let somebody else host the show? Oh, Max, oh, you, you hurt your ankle. It was real, real bad. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Didn't we hang out Saturday, uh, on Sunday night? Did. Didn't we have a damn good time? Sure I still did. got to thank you for that party again, baby. I mean, he took me to the HBO oh. party. It was off the chain. Let me ask you this question. Oh, wait a minute. Him, party. him. Oh. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the, here's the deal, Max. Yeah. I'm sorry. What did I just ask? We went to well, a party. I'd be here, Hold on, wait a, a minute. Wait a minute. The ankle was jacked up. I mean, Ma I can't even. We don't have enough oh, room for me Max to was able to make Ma it to a Max party. Max made it injured. though, right? So what I'm saying to you is this. So let me get this straight. You had to do what you had yeah. to do. That's you would do what you had to do. Yeah, but, 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 hold on, wait a minute. But, but, but oh, color, on. but color, the, th the oh, thumb. Yeah, hold on, yeah, the thumb. It's a, oh, it's hurting this I'm giving way. you, Professor it's, Keller stop, is giving you an stop. A for effort, but a C minus on the analogy. Let's make the analogy correct because I appreciate the imagination. The analogy there is a broadcaster, Stephen A. Smith, has laryngitis. You can't be heard and you have a radio show. He's but you literally here. can't, you're talking like this. And there's someone really good sitting right there. Uh, Mike Greenberg is sitting right there, and they're like, hey, Stephen A., Mike can Horrible come analogy. show for you. Horrible analogy. If you, said, if you said hosting a radio show, sure. But in this chair, there's only one, baby. There's only one. And even, and, even, and, and even you have never had a second. And even with laryngitis, even with laryngitis, yeah. I would have showed up. You probably would have okay. out-talked whoever was on the I show. I love me some me, Stephen A. Smith.